So, butterfly guard, I don't want to be straight on with her here, because if she pulls me down, then I'm flat, and she's looking to pass. So, I'll have my butterfly guard, and I'm off. So, I like to, almost like I'm just kind of lounging on the beach. But here, I'm gonna have an overhook. Okay? So I'm here. So if she tries to push me down and bully me, like it's a lot harder for her to do. Right? So I'm gonna go from here. I'm gonna take away my base just for a second so I can snap her head down and I'm gonna pull it into this on bit. So here, overhook the head. So I really wanted us to get used to when we get that chin strap, getting a good grip. I like to put their chin right here. So between your pinky and your ring finger. So I snap her down, and then I grab the chin, and I close my elbow, all right? That way it'll make it a lot harder for her to just start trying to strip that off. So from there, I'm looking to go for my sweep, so then I'm gonna connect my hands. So I'm just going, I'm grabbing the, the pinky side, fat of my hand there. So here, chin strap, getting my grip, and I'm gonna butterfly sweep towards JD here. And when I fall to my right side, I'm gonna elevate with my uh, left leg. I go here, here, okay? This can lead into anaconda chokes, but what, <laughs> I'm gonna keep a hold of her, so after I get the sweep, I'm gonna go back to the chin strap, okay? and then I'm gonna pull myself up and get up to mount. So I go here, kick myself up, up to mount, yeah? And we'll stop right there and then we'll, we'll finish it with the sub. Can you next round? Just follow through on the butterfly, you know? Yes. So I was trying to do it slow, but yeah. So if I say I, I go for the anaconda, because that's one of my favorite setups to do from there. Right. And then it's like, oh, it's not going to work. Then I can follow it up. But you can follow it straight to okay. So here, I scoot my hips back just a little bit, snap her down into my armpit, chin strap. Okay, from here, get my hands together. Try not to put them down her shirt. Follow my right hip, elevate with my left. And then yes, I can fall out right okay. here. Try that off if you can. That's just happenstance though. Here, hips away, snap into the armpit. I don't want to snap her towards, because then I can't overhook her head. So snap, chin strap, get my hands together, I'm falling to my right, I'm lifting with my left, falling it all the way to mount. Yeah? Can you just go right through if she posts with that Does it matter? Like, will it, so if she posts, will yeah, it matter? Sure, her left hand is loose, right? So it doesn't. So yeah, because my elevation too, so if she, go ahead and go to post. So that, that elevation on that left leg for the butterfly sweep is super important. Because okay. sometimes people can base just from a, a basic butterfly sweep, like go ride it. So I really have to get it up high uh, and follow it. And that's why I post that free leg to, to get my tips up. I mean, I imagine most people will react and go to protect their neck. The, they're most likely, yeah, trying to fight the choke, but you will have that times when they're like, oh, I'm going over, I'm trying to stop it. Okay. But, it shouldn't slow down too much. Maybe a little bit. Questions? All right, I'm three, one, two, three.